Okay, so the next tool we're going to move to is the points, or the next section we're going to move on to is points. Uh, points is pretty straightforward. Click on the points button. With your right mouse button, just click and you can lay down points. Now, this could be to construct anything. You could make um, your own logo with this. If you had like uh, an image in the background, some text, and then you just match up the points. Now, I'll just give a quick example right now. I'll just deselect. So with the left uh, mouse button selected, boink, 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 I select them. And then I hit the P key and it turns it into a, a poly. Okay, now let's delete that. If you loaded up a, an image in the background and just say for fun it was, um, we'll just make like a cross. We'll just bonk, bonk, bonk. Actually, I don't know why I even added those extra points, but it doesn't really matter. I'll just add them in anyways here on the same, on the other side as well. Boop, boop. Okay, so I've made this uh, cross shape. Okay. If I hit the P key, it automatically should just um, make the polygon exactly the way we want it. It's not perfect. I didn't line anything up. But... Um, this just gives you an idea how you can make a general shape. Now, let's go Control Z to undo. Let's pretend somehow you accidentally deselected these points. The way you would go through to regenerate the shape is, okay, just grab the points in order so that the shape is made correctly. Oh, whoops. Select that one. Hold the Shift key down to reselect again. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Hit the P key for polygon and bang. Okay, notice you can't see it on the other side because the normal is facing up. Okay, and then if you wanted to fix this up to make it to the shape that you wanted, you'd use a stretch tool, hold control key down, shift that in, and you do the same thing on the other side. H for stretch, pop that out. And then you would just go around, go around and clean this up. So like I said, you can create the shapes that you want. You can just roughly just uh, draw them out with, uh, sorry, with that points tool. And then you can, uh, like I said, you can come back in and, and, and clean up the overall, uh, the overall look to it. Um, and I think just these ones here needed to be fixed. Whoops. And fix that. And these ones here. And boink. And I think the bottom ones needed to be fixed too. Just go stretch and just keep dragging until they go straight. So then you have yourself a, almost a perfect uh, cross shape right there. So like I said, you can use this to draw out points uh, very very quickly good start um, a lot of times I'll do it if I'm modeling a character I start off using drawing out um, some different drawing out quads in different places and then sort of uh, using the extender plus tool to drag them to extend them back out but uh, yeah it's a very handy feature the uh, the uh, points tool okay